Welcome to this edition of a Silver Sneakers All Senior or an All Dumbbell Exercise Routine. I'm your host, Jesse Sawyer, nationally recognized inclusive fitness trainer, Silver Sneaker Flex instructor, and you can find out more about me. Visit my website at www.jessieswear.com. Now, if you don't know, I broke my tripod, so that's why I am streaming from a different location in my home, so you're going to see a different aspect of this exercise routine. Now, clearly I would be doing this hopefully in the seated position, but I'm gonna be doing this in the standing position because I can't get the camera far enough away to do it in the seated position. But if you wanna do these in the seated position or the standing position or a combination of both, you'll be able to do all these exercises like that and you'll get those muscles energized, you'll get the blood flown and you'll get that oxygen pumping throughout the entire body where you're gonna be rejuvenated from this all dumbbell exercise routine. Now remember, get some hydration. If you have any lightheadedness, pain, dizziness, discomfort, or fatigue, pause button, perceived exertion, one through 10. And if you don't have lightweight dumbbells, mines are five, then it's okay. You can just use your imagination, squeeze those fists, and work out with me without anything besides that imagination. And all you need is me and you and this subscription to this YouTube channel. So let's get started. I'm going to lie or I'm going to just rest those arms down to the side. I'm going to be nice and tall. I'm going to sit on the edge of that chair. If I'm on the edge of that chair, if I'm standing and have my toes over knees, knees over hips, hips over shoulders, and I'm going to be in a nice, good, strong foundational base. And then I'm going to come up and do a hammer curl in a neutral position. So we're going to do four more just like this. Four, three, two, and one, and now right side for four. One, two, three, four, and that left side for four. One, two, three, and then we're gonna alternate for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and doing this all while breathing. There you go, just make sure you breathe. Hydrate if necessary. And again, we're gonna go bilateral, concentrated curls are gonna come up, almost make a triangle, bring them back down. Two, three, four, we're gonna follow the same sequence. Five, six, seven, and then that right side for four. One, two, three, and then that left side for four. One, two, three, and now we're gonna alternate for eight. Right, left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and rest them down, shake them off. That is gonna be it for those biceps. And now we're gonna go into a short lever lateral raise. Now, I have a tutorial out there in terms of short lateral into long, um, lever lateral raise and then a proper lateral raise. Please go view it um, if you get lost at any given time while taking this class with me. Short lever, there you go. We're gonna do eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rest the left side, right side for four. One, two, three, four, rest the right, left side. One, two, three, four, together, alternate, right, left. One, two, for eight, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and rest them down. Shake them off, long lever next for those individuals that can. If you can't, go to the short lever. If you can do one side long, one short side short, do what you can. Again, pay attention to that rate of perceived exertion. Long lever, they're gonna go out to the side, so they're going out. Just wanna make sure I'm not gonna hit that banister there. Here we go. Push them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right side for four. One, two, three, and then that left side, and that left side, I'm just trying to push towards that pitcher on the wall. Two, three, I'm not trying to externally rotate too much. There's four, and then let's 
put them in an alternating one, two, eight of them, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Shake them off, rest them down. That was your last lateral delt that we're gonna work on as well. So we've done some biceps, we've done some side raises for those shoulders, and now we're gonna go into a few presses for you at home. So we're gonna go in a neutral press, and we're gonna do eight straight on up. One, now, when I say straight on up, you can go straight on up, get full extension, or you can just put it on a shelf. Your call, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're gonna do 24 total. So now we got right for four, one, two, three, left for four, one, two, three, four. Now alternate for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest them down. There you got your nice little press. Next press that we're going to add on to this routine is we're gonna just do a nice little wide press. So that was a neutral press. Now we're gonna just take them out. Wrist should be over elbow and, right, hand should be over wrist, wrist should be over elbow. You can't get the elbow over shoulder, can you? So now we're just gonna drop them right here into that rib cage and we're gonna just do a pulse for eight. So a pulse for eight, one right above the head, two and then back down. Three, get some depth, four, five, side view, six, seven, eight, right side only, one, two, three, four, left side, one, two, three, four, alternate, one, two, three, again, they're just pauses, four, so you're not going all the way up, five, six, seven, and eight, and rest them all the way down, shake them all the way off. Now I'm gonna show you the best way to optimize a shoulder press, which I probably should have shown you that in the beginning because you've already done, well, about 48 shoulder presses. So if you have discomfort, any type of injury on that rotator, then you might wanna not do this exercise at this moment. So the best way to engage the shoulder, right, is not this way. Right, not the wide way, is not the neutral way. It's a great way to do it, probably a better way than the wide way, but turn it just ever so slightly in this supinated position. So you see how I'm just turning ever so slightly. So neutral, and then we're gonna turn it into a supinated position, and we're just going to drive it up, not full way, engaging, drop down, two, three, four, and then that left side, one, two, three, four, we'll alternate for eight, four, two, three, and then we'll do four together. One, two, three, four, and rest it down, there you go. So there was another great way to get a all dumbbell exercise routine in, express edition, express version, a couple dumbbell exercises for the biceps, couple exercises for the lateral delts, and then a couple all-rounded exercises that's gonna hit some of the biceps and the shoulders with the shoulder press. Peace, my friends. Keep on coming back, and please subscribe to this channel, and hopefully the next time you see me, I'll have a better tripod.